We're back at the dock here with old Palm Fritter. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Give this thing a bath or something? Yeah, just scrubbing her up. What's gonna happen here? Uh, we're gonna get a proper painting. Oh, tarpon busting underneath there. Oh, yeah. Cool? You're gonna do them up? I am, I am. I'm gonna make a little bit of, a little bit of art out of this guy. Some fish art, Lisa Lee, right? Yes, yep. And uh, then you make prints, then people can order them and buy them, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And you've never done a palm frit? First timer. Oh boy, here fritter. we go. Yep. Mike's a palm frit master. Nice, look at <laughs> those wings. a lot of them, so. Excellent job. So we're gonna show you some of this, and we're gonna start flaying this thing. And really, three really good days. It's honestly the best swordfish camp we've ever had. We got nine swords, three palm frit, and a thresher shark over the three days, and uh, this will be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right, so oh, I gotta get pictures of him. Do you care if I film this? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Mike, too bad you don't get clean that clean, huh? Yeah, I know. I try though. Yeah. Excellent. I like to take um, a couple videos and photos of it, so when I go to embellish it, I try to get it as perfect back to its original look as possible. Awesome. Look at those little teeth. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever handled a palm frit. Is there anything I need to look out for? I don't think like so. When I'm doing they got those little teeth, like you said, you know. Yeah. So they got that there, but. Cool. Wow. Color wise. Excellent. They got pretty neat fins. And like they, I love their tail, the inside out, it's all white like yeah, that. Yeah, that's wild. So. I know, I know those little lionfish can get you pretty Yeah, quick. the lionfish would be bad. Oh, well, thanks. I've done a few of those. Look at this little guy. All right. Very cool. Gotta clean them up nice and proper, oh, bathe them before we start sure. filleting here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so neat. Jimmy, how you doing? What's up? Hey Jimmy, how are nice. you? Hey, come on. Everyone's hanging out today. All right. So I just wanna get as much, you know, slime off of him as possible. Nice and dry. totally non-toxic ink. Can so we can eat it? Yep. Perfect. Spray it right <laughs> off in it. You can actually tattoo yourself with this stuff. It's can? soy free, gluten free, peanut free, all the things. Can we paint Mike with it? You can. We'll stick your <laughs> face on it. I think I'm going to do Charlie's face next. There you go. Yeah. That'd be classic. <laughs> Oh, do they? Like really pretty oh, colors. Cool. Now it's more brownish, but when you first come out, like real pretty. Excellent. I'll have to do that. Too cool. All right, get in that face there. Gorgeous. All right. So. How many fish have you done? A lot. A lot. <laughs> A lot. Probably near. 40 or 50 or so now? I have awesome. no idea. More than, More than that? Yeah. This is the first time I've done this species. But I just did a whole swordfish not long ago. A couple of whole swordfish. You did? Yeah, which is pretty neat. Yeah. And if people like these fish prints, how do they get one from you? So they just go to my website or call me directly. What's and the website? My website is Gallery of the Arts, Islamarada.com. Gallery of the Arts, alamrata.com. That's correct. Or you can call me at 954-261-5167. And that's my direct line, and I will answer. That's how I come to the docks, figure out where you guys are. I've been anywhere from Miami to Marathon doing this stuff so far. Miami had a beautiful yellowfin tuna. Excellent. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just dab the excess off. For the first layer, this is what I do, and then after that, we'll be ripping prints, which will be super cool. Look at those teeth, it looks like an angerfish, you know? Yeah. So 
So how deep was this fish? 15? Yeah, 1,500, 1,540 or so. Wow. Wow. We, caught, we, we just catch a few here and there, but we actually caught two yesterday. Awesome. Which was the first time I ever caught two in a day, and then we got one today. Excellent. Cool. So they're running out there. They're yeah. out. They're out and about. It's party time. You're just getting like a base layer on it? Yeah. So I do this once. I'll re-ink it again, and then ink and pull. Ink and pull. Just so it soaks into... It's so every scales. print, you yeah. have to do the prints right when you do them, then you don't like actually print them on a computer after? No, they're all original. Okay, all everything okay, I gotcha. have. I didn't know that. Yeah, everything I have is, is has touched the fish. Okay, awesome. Yep, comes right off the fish. That's what makes it cool. Yeah. I mean, we get like fish with like spear gun marks on them. It's neat because then you see all those sure. details, which is, you know, very unique to your fish. It's so dark. All right, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna start the fun stuff. Oh, then after you get the original print, that's when you kind of touch them up and embellish them. Yeah, them. so once I have, stuff. exactly. So I'll bring these black and white um, first prints to the gallery, and then I'll detail its eye back up, like with whatever colors it had. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, super cool. So I can do multiple, multiple prints off of just one fish and nothing goes to waste, which is cool. They did a whole school of look downs. You did? And they only had one look down. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Have you been eating the paint? Well, not oh, eating yeah. the paint. Oh, yeah. I've been eating the fish. The fish, the fish yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did a Wahoo on, uh, at a postcard the other day, and the second we flipped it, we filleted it and had sushi on the docks. It was great. I try to I try to make James slip on that banana peel out there. Yeah, yeah. The old Mario Kart move. <laughs> Pumpkin. The orange one. <laughs> there is. I never watched the whole process of this. I've seen all the pictures and prints. <laughs> it's seen, pretty so, cool. Seen someone do a makeshift one, but it wasn't like the river fish detail. or you yeah, know. like they just slap paint on there and throw yeah. the sheet on it. There's definitely so. I I have a lot of bloopers. You yeah. know, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of give and take. Like too much ink, too yeah. little ink. Missed the, the spot. I've seen the guys do the blue marl and we did yeah. a big source of Mississippi, which is cool. It's so cool. Um, and I think that can actually print it on canvas after yes. once it did. So. You can do canvases, yeah. you can do silks. I really enjoy the paper. I use a blend of mulberry, linen, and rice. Uh, traditionally. Rice, so it, traditionally it was, yeah. but the advancements in the technology of paint, man, or paper. Right, so that paper is a blend of it? Yes. It's and it's a nice white color. Rice paper tends to be a little more yellow. Right. So. Are these the same towels that you bathe with or no? Oh yeah. <laughs> they are, so they do come out <laughs> clean. Yeah. All right. It's not mm -hmm. any worse than our clothes, I guess. Right. I know, there's... <laughs> yeah, we got fish blood. Everywhere. There, All so. the things. How you doing? All right. So here, flip it over. I'm just going to measure gently. All right. Wind probably doesn't help you either, does it? There's always a factor. Yeah. Wind, humidity, sun, you name it. There's more to this than I thought. Oh yeah. It's a little wild west. Because I want to make sure that that fish is, you know, not out any longer than it has to be. Because any little, any little bits or whatever that I have missed, yeah. I like to embellish back in. Gotcha. All right. Nice and tight. You got plenty of room on your side? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh boy. Yeah. All right, this holds still. Sorry, I 
kind of dancing around here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. So, Gyo Taku translates to fish rubbing, as you can kind of see. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. What was the other word for it? Gyo is fish and Gyo? Taku is rubbing. Yeah. Fish rubbing, Gyo Taku, <laughs> something yeah. like that. Japanese fishermen back in the day, this is how they would uh, record their catches before the amazing invention of the iPhone. <laughs> they made that too, didn't they? Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. right? They're smart over there. make sure this doesn't fly up and down. Okay. So you took off a lot of the excess uh, paint, huh? I did, yes. Definitely want to take off excess paint. Come around here. Let's take a little peek. What we got here. So you hold those two ends, okay. I'll take this end. Grab that mm -hmm. side. That's the palm frit. That's a big palm frit. Look at that there thing. It is. We'll get nice some job. more, yeah. Pretty outline. Beautiful. So you can see little spots. The first one's a little rough. The second and third get a little bit more clean yeah. with that ink settling into where it needs to be. Awesome. Plus when it's in a ice block, it tends to condensate a little bit. Oh, that's what Mike was drying them off for you. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. So let's, uh, we have time to rip a couple more off? Oh yeah, let's we're gonna, I'm gonna cut swordfish. Excellent. All righty, there's our first one. And uh, she said the ones after that will be even cleaner. Better the first one's uh, the warm up one. How many of these prints did you do already? Five or six? Four or five. Oh, this is, five. This number, is number five? five. Yeah. Check out number five, you guys. Like you said, the they sun. get better and better. Look at that, she's gonna take it back there and detail it. That looks yeah. really cool, good job. Thank you. Good job too, you didn't mess up. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> trust you There's still time. Yes. All right. And then I'll take it back to the gallery, I'll bring his eye back to life, throw those beautiful purples back in there, you know, all those gorgeous details. Awesome. Look at his fin, that turned isn't out that perfect. beautiful? All right, we got time for one more that I'm filleting him, okay? All right, all right, sounds like a plan. Thanks, Nick. <laughs>